Oregon Grand Assembly. I'm Sue Edwards Slack, past Grand Worthy Advisor from 1972. I'm so happy to be sharing Grand Assembly with you this year and thrilled to be in the jungle with the happy hippo Grand Officers. I know this will be fun and inspiring under Jessica's brilliant leadership. The opportunity to address you this year is particularly meaningful to me. I know you're celebrating Rainbow's 100th birthday. When I was Grandworthy Advisor, we celebrated the 50th birthday. I began my Rainbow career at Warren Assembly Number 84. It's located in Jacksonville near Medford where I grew up. As far as I know, Warren Assembly was the only one sponsored by a Masonic Lodge. I know most assemblies are sponsored by Eastern Star. I came from a Masonic family. My dad was a Mason, my mom was a member of Eastern Star, and my brother in Malay. In fact, a few years after I was Groundworthy Advisor, my brother became State Master Counselor of Malay. I will never forget that Friday afternoon when Mrs. Graham, our Supreme Deputy, announced my name to become Groundworthy Associate Advisor. I was stunned, I was surprised, and I felt like Miss America. In those days, the selection of a Grand Worthy Associate Advisor was a closed selection. There were no elections and no opportunities to put your name in the hat if you wanted to be considered. So began a busy year of preparation and my installation in June of 1971. 1971-72 was a heady time to be a young woman in America. Title IX had just passed, which ensured equality in education, particularly sports, for girls. I was among the first 18-year-olds who could vote in America. I registered right away and still vote in every election. And in fact, it seemed that even a woman's most intimate decisions had just become protected in America. Our colors were orange, lemon, and lime very 70s. My theme for the year was a rainbow garden of friendship. I guess that came naturally to me. I love all gardens and flowers. In fact, I have a couple of my orchids behind me here today. My year began with a summer full of grand visitations. I was still in high school, so we had to do everything we could in the summer. For instance, all of the Portland Assemblies met together for one big event, which was a lot of fun. I spent three weeks in Eastern Oregon visiting all of the Assemblies out there. I'll never forget riding in a hay baler, a combine, as well as hiking to a fire outlook, and horseback riding. A lot of young people, including Rainbow Girls in Eastern Oregon, made money in the summer for college and other expenses by operating that farm equipment and working on their family ranches. Some even lived in those fire outlooks. So we were entertained and worked hard to raise money for various service projects. During my year, we helped remodel an entertainment room at the Masonic and Eastern Star Home and purchased stamps for the residents. My largest service project was donating funds to the University of Oregon Medical School, now known as OHSU. Dr. Harold Boverman was a psychiatrist at the medical school who believed that children might respond more effectively to mental health treatment if it was received in a warm and home-like environment. What was a novel idea in 1972 is now the standard of care. We have much work yet to do for children experiencing mental health issues, but it was exciting to contribute to a significant improvement. In addition to official visits, installations, and lots of receptions, I attended Grand Assembly in Tacoma, Washington, and in Sacramento, California. It was a treat to travel out of state and meet rainbow girls from all over the West Coast. I was able to attend Supreme Assembly that year as well. And as you know, it was Rainbow's 50th birthday. Rainbow was founded in McAllister, Oklahoma, so the Supreme Assembly was held that year in Oklahoma City. The Grand Worthy Advisors and just recently passed Grand Worthy Advisors were offered honorary Supreme Offices for the duration of Supreme Assembly. 
I was honored to become Supreme Immortality. I couldn't believe the flat landscape and the hazy skies of Oklahoma. The beauty of Oregon is second to none. Travel also included the statewide meetings of Eastern Star and the Masonic Lodges. In fact, those were the only two times that I ran into my colleagues from Job's Daughters and Demolay. One of the special events during my year was the inauguration of Kellogg Assembly. We gathered one afternoon and initiated members, and then I was privileged to uh, install the first slate of officers. So after a busy year and graduating from high school, it was time for Grand Assembly. Grand Assembly was easily dedicated that year to the founders of Rainbow since we were celebrating our 50th anniversary. Grand Assembly was always held at Gill Coliseum in Corvallis where OSU plays basketball. We stayed in the dorms, ate in the cafeteria, and shopped in the bookstore. I believe attendance was somewhere around 800 people. There were 77 assemblies and 23 grand deputies. Each assembly had one member of the grand choir, and they also had someone like a, a state representative, a member of the state executive committee, or some other statewide assignment. Every three years, assemblies had a grand officer, a grand floor officer, such as grand love, grand charity, etc. There were enough grand officers and grand representatives that we could enter the assembly hall at the beginning of each of the sessions and make formations on the floor like a flower or the outline of the state of Oregon. Think of what you might see at halftime at a football game. There were also six grand pages appointed to serve various needs during grand assembly. I was able to appoint my page who was a very dear friend in Rainbow and remains a dear friend to this day. I also learned that as a surprise to me that my cousin had been appointed a grand page from her assembly in Cottage Grove. All of the decorations, carrying pieces, etc. were handmade by our moms and the assembly. Long before technology we were doing these decorations. Everyone in those days was familiar with mimeographed materials, glitter, Elmer's glue, and pipe cleaners. The Grand Assembly Hall was rimmed with butterflies denoting each of our assemblies. We had large mushrooms made out of styrofoam cups in the north, south, and west as part of the Garden of Friendship. These included a large mural that included a, that included a fairy, flowers, and butterflies, and denoted Rainbow Garden of Friendship. It was about 15 feet high, 20 feet long, and was made of art paper. My dad took it home and wallpapered our garage with the mural. Remnants of that mural remained in the garage until both of my parents passed away and we sold the house in 2003. I got to pick most of the music for Grand Assembly, much of it was from the 70s and long forgotten, but you might remember one of the songs. It was called, I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing. It still shows up today in some soft drink commercials. My year as Grandworthy Advisor is something I will never forget, and I'm sure Jessica will say the same thing. Today I am a retired local government executive. I live in Ashland with my husband of 45 years. We love to travel and both live lives of service. My husband is a volunteer driver for senior citizens and, and disabled people who cannot otherwise get to medical appointments. I'm a longtime member of our United Way Board of Directors and a participant in United Way's Living Leadership Program. That's all about women and removing barriers for women and children so that they can achieve all they can be. From Rainbow, I learned how to be organized and to be comfortable in leadership positions, skills I still use today. What would I say about the future of Rainbow? Stay relevant to the young women of today and the young women of tomorrow. What would I say to each of you who belong to Rainbow today? Take advantage of all opportunities, be it Rainbow, school, sports, etc. Every one of your experiences will teach you something important. 
Strive for your own personal independence and do everything possible to stand strong. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to remember my year, the fun, friendships, and experiences I had in Rainbow. My best in Rainbow love to each of you. Thank you.